Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. Most of you know who I am. Essentially, I'm the laser guy. I've been at it for about 20 years doing these protocols, essentially, and doing research for frequency-specific laser therapy. This is a short uh, laser therapy uh, protocol lesson uh, for safety and also application for facelift protocol, which is requested continually. Not earth-shaking, uh, important as compared to some of the other things we treat, but people still uh, want it and need it, and so this is a way for us to show the technique and also the safety. If you'll notice, we wear, make our, our, uh, our uh, patient wear glasses, essentially, always. We want to basically avoid shining directly into the eye, onto the retina, causing any injury to the retina. If we do it this way, we can use it at 24% power, essentially, and we can also use it at 4% power without the glasses, but we still recommend that you have eye covering, essentially, and the technique looks like this. We set it for facelift protocol A to Z, Dr. Bill Inman's protocol, um, A to Z, essentially, F and facelift protocol advanced human. And then what we do is this. This is the technique. Let's turn it on, and it starts lasering. First thing we're going to do is we're going to laser the top of the head. And then we're going to come down, collapse it, and get down around the outside. Notice that it turns to blue. And then we're going to put it down on the neck. You can't see it as well because blue light is not as picked up as well as red light. And then we're going to bring it up here on the other side, and it's going to change all by itself. And then we're going to bring it a wide back to get the forehead. We want to get the forehead to get the forehead lines. We want to get the side here to get the lines on the side of the eyes, the side of the nose, the bags uh, under the eyes are not as effectively treated with this therapy, and there's other therapies that we have. The bag, the wrinkles at the commissures, and also we have a technique where we uh, lays the, uh, under the neck area. The client can't feel this light usually, but if they can, it's not, an, it's not unusual and they don't feel any discomfort. Then we come up the side of the head, and we come back up here, and this thing is going to turn off when it's done exposing, which is about um, 120 seconds. The human female has more attachment of uh, the skin to the musculature than um, any of the other creatures, including human male, and that is because of the nature of facial expression and how it's developed genetically for the last eight zillion years. However, when the, when the Goldie tendon apparatus and muscle tendon fiber of the skin basically are compromised, Essentially, the, the facial muscles drag, or I'm sorry, sag, based on gravity, and that produces wrinkles around the eyes and the commissures of the mouth, around the mouth, essentially, in the neck, and of course on the other side. So what we want to do is we want to reestablish the golden tendon apparatus and muscle tendon fiber, muscle tonus, which basically puts tension back in the muscle and brings the, brings the face up. I'll show you a little bit what it looks like as soon as we're done lasering. And it just turned itself off. And so what happens is this. Ordinarily, of course, my, my uh, model has perfect skin because she's an esthetician also. But what happens is the skin basically is raised like this. So it comes up like instead of like a facelift, which is like this. Sorry. It, what we end up with is we end up with this coming up. And what that does is it opens up the eye and it opens up the, it basically puts proper tension across the corner of the eye, corner of the mouth, brings the mouth wider, wider open and also deal, um, uh, uh, takes, takes in the musculature under the neck. This condition should actually be applied probably two to three times a week for two weeks and then take a week off and then two to three times a week for the next two weeks. You should see and can see responses within the first uh, couple of laserings. However, I wouldn't expect to see a, uh, a significant response until the second week. And what most people experience as, as response is that people will suggest that the client is using A, a different makeup, got their hair cut differently, got rid of that no count husband of theirs or whatever. They just feel better or got a good night's sleep. And that's what people will see. They won't see a head and a face that's pulled way back like this essentially looks like she uh, she's riding a motorcycle at 100 miles an hour so what actually happens and so this um there's a lot more space in other folks not as necessarily in this model to show you the amount of, of, of mo motion that would occur with the face but for somebody as my as old as i am essentially there's a lot of a lot of space that can be done and this probably would be good for anywhere from uh, six to eight months and then may have to be repeated again Thank you very much for listening. If you have any other questions about this technique or methodology, contact me, area code 208-640-3000.
3430. That's my cell phone, 208 640 3430. Or you can email me, Dr. Bill. 110651 at gmail.com. That's Dr. Bill 110651, obviously a birthday, at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day.